Hey guys, welcome back to Judo Highlights. I want to have a look at Cass's performance at the Judo Masters. Just thought that in the video I did on day two, I didn't really cover much of his performance. So we'll have a look at that in this video. Cass is probably one of the great Niwaza specialists on the scene. I mean, he's got good throws, good Ipon Sionage that he likes to chain together with his Niwaza. We'll see that in this video. Good Tomoinage as well. Here it is here. No score, but as you see, transitions beautifully into the Juji Gatame. We'll have a look at it again. And this is his, his first round here against Geralt Tuya from Mongolia. And after this one, there's a good match against Kohara from Japan. So here's the entry. And he does really well to just follow his opponent and stay close to that arm. So the next round, it's actually a quarterfinal. Only four matches for Cass to get gold. But it's up against Kohara. And last time they met up, this is what happened. Kohara with that slick Nidan Kosoto that he does. He throws people with this all the time. And so Kaz, I mean, he got thrown here. They called it a Wazari, but he still lost that fight. And here he is, looking for revenge. And Kohara, he's got an interesting style when paired up against Kaz. Kohara, he actually has really good Nawaza as well. And also, uh, he does a Tomoinage as well. So him and Kaz, kind of similar. Although, I would say Cass, I mean, he utilizes much more Nawaza than Kohara does. So you can see here, just a couple of attempts from both guys, just kind of squashing each other's techniques. Kohara, I mean, he can feel the Tomoinage a mile away, and so can Cass. I mean, they're both good at this technique, so they know the ins and outs of it. And then Cass staying away from that Ashiwaza. And Kohara, I don't think he wants to advance the Newaza. Pretty sure he knows Cass is better. So Cass kind of nullifying that aspect of Kohara's game. And here, I mean, Kohara, he's got two Shiro's to his name. That was a decent attack. Cass now one Shiro to his name. But Cass does really well here to just kind of continue the sequence. And then unfortunately this one here... Cass defending well, and Kohara gets done for a false attack. So if you know, I've been on a bit of a false attack kind of talk recently, and I definitely think that was a false attack, but I mean, technique to technique, some techniques like Seoinage, I mean, this one here, this is a great great attempt, not a false attack at all, but sometimes Seoinage, it's, it's kind of easier to break someone's balance, whereas a Tomoinage, you can defend it really well. You know, just stab your hips in there, and the person who goes to ground looks really bad doing it. Some techniques, I mean, some techniques are, are much better for the whole false attack kind of rule. I do wish they would change it just a little bit. So semi-final now against Malai. And these guys have fought numerous times, but I definitely think in recent times, Cass has been able to take out Malai. Much more than the other way around. I'm not too sure exactly what it is. I think maybe Cass, he's just really good defensively. He does a good job of kind of keeping his hips quite far back, you know. It allows him to go in for the Tomoenage. Allows him to go in for the Seoenage. But Malai, I mean, he likes people to be close to him. And so he can't really pick up Cass if he's not that close. And here's a score. Wazadi score. We'll have a look at it again. A bit unfortunate for Malay. I think he was kind of looking for something, but just got caught. And you can see here Malay, I mean, he's trying to close the distance with that big back grip, but Cass is doing well, keeping his elbow kind of extended to stop Malay from getting close to him. You see it again here. And then Cass always has this option. He can always just use that space. And jump in for the Tomoinage. Burning a bit of time on the clock here. Another one of the rules that I do not like. And yeah, so Cass gets that one with one Wazadi. And we're into the finals now, and this is against Schmidt from Brazil. Schmidt, he is much younger than Cass, although Cass, he's only like 26 years of age. Still a young guy. And Schmidt gets thrown here with that Tomoe that Cass has been looking for all day. Finally gets a throw with it. 
Although, I mean, he did have a good one in the beginning, in the first round, which led to that beautiful Juji. But Schmidt, he's also got a pretty good Nawaza game. So I think he's pretty happy on the floor. But it was a bit unfortunate there for him getting done like that early in the contest. Although Schmidt, I mean, I've got high hopes for Schmidt. I think he's a really good judoka. He's got a lot of good things about what he does on the mat. Good throws, good nawaza, good transitions. But still a bit young. I think he's got to clear up a few things in his game. But I definitely think we'll see him taking gold at one of these Grand Slams or Masters at some point. Speaking of which, I think he is competing in the Zagreb Grand Prix. And the draw is being called as I'm recording this video. See Schmidt looking for the pass here. Confident in his Nawaza. But Cass, I mean, he's just maybe a level above. Really good Nawaza from Cass. There's that Siwinaga attempt again. So it's hard when you're a Wazadi up. I mean, what do you do? Do you just keep going through it for it? Do you, do you play it safe? There are a lot of thoughts about this. Personally, just from a spectator perspective, I do like to see people just go for it, get one Wazadi, and then, you know, if they get a nice counter or something, it's always good. I'm always kind of thinking about how to make Judo more spectator friendly. That's why I kind of think about these rules a lot. I think they really can just make it a lot better. But it's hard. I do understand it is very hard to make rules that people don't kind of abuse just for the sake of winning. So you can see there are two seconds left on the clock. So Cass, another medal, another gold medal to his name. He's probably used to it by now. But anyway, guys, this is Grebe Grand Prix is starting soon. So I'll have videos for that. Stay tuned. Like, subscribe. And I'll see you again. Peace.